Hi, I'm Rob. We're here at Minic Manufacturing today. We've got the gas leak detection drill, the Hornet. It's also used for gas leak extraction holes. And uh, we want to take a look at how to operate it safely and maintain it. Let's get familiar with the Hornet. I want to start with the controls right up top. In our left hand, we have the drill, drill on and off lever. And then in our right hand, we have the feed up and down lever. Uh, this is our adjustment for the air regulator with the gauge right in front here. On down, we have the main air supply. Uh, this is where we connect. And we also have the uh, oiler on the left side. Um, we have the, the air cylinders here. This is the drill carrier, it slides up and down the rail. And this is our actual drill hammer and the drill guide down here. Uh, and we'll insert the drill steel right here. All right, let's take a look at the drill steel before we install it. We have a 7 8 by 3 and a quarter chuck, uh, 22 under collar. And to, to install it, then what we want to do is lay the hornet right on its back. We have a latch right here that we want to open. And then on the drill guide, we just open the T here. And slide this uh, hex right up inside and close the latch. Close the bearing guide. And she's ready to go. Let's take a look at the oiler here. Uh, we want to fill it and we want to get in the habit of pressing that red safety button on top uh, just in case there's any air pressure in there that'll release that. And we can use a crescent wrench and just loosen the, the top and unscrew it here. Now we have a, a gauge down inside that, that controls the amount of oil that goes to the drill. Um, it comes preset at the factory. Uh, but just so you know how to do it, uh, let's take a look at that. Okay, now when we go to adjust the oiler gauge, uh, you'll see the slot for the flathead screwdriver, and you want to turn it clockwise all the way till it stops. Now on mine, it stops at the number two. That's the closed position. So what we want to do is turn it counterclockwise five and a half increments. So mine's going to end up at the seven and a half mark and then that will be just like we set it at the factory and it should be a good amount of oil running to the drill um, but you can adjust that now the way we actually know if we have enough oil going to the drill is we go to the front of the drill here and when the drill's not running okay you should be able to put your finger in the inside of this exhaust deflector and get an oily film also, another place to check is right on the uh, shank back here. It should just be a, a nice oily film. It shouldn't be running out, um, you know, or, or dry. You want to make sure you have enough lubrication to your drill. Okay, and then once you've set that, uh, we want to go ahead and use the, the rock drill oil. Um, there are some recommended lubricants here on the sticker, also in your manual. Uh, we also do have rock drill oil here at Minic. Uh, and we just want to fill the oiler to the bottom of the threads here. There we go. And then replace the safety cap and tighten it with the uh, crescent wrench. Okay, now we're ready to connect the air supply. Um, I always recommend laying it down. Uh, in fact, anytime you're not using the machine, it's just a great way to store it. Uh, we want to release the safety lanyards and our Chicago style fitting, we just take the cap off and then, and then reattach the safety lanyards. And, then, and now it's safe to Turn your main compressor on. Now with our air regulator gauge, you can see we've got that set at about four pounds. Um, you only, we really don't need much to drill the hole. 
Uh, we, you can see our recommended settings here is 4 to 7 PSI. Uh, if you need to make any adjustments, right here is the, the adjustment knob. And on our main air supply, we want at least 90 CFMs coming through, uh, but no more than 120 PSI coming into this machine. Okay, uh, we talked about the recommended pressure setting at 4 to 7 PSI. Uh, we want to show you what happens when we have too much pressure. You'll see the machine lift back uh, just as, as we feed it even. Okay, it'll just push the drill back. Now then to correct that, then we want to change our air regulator, we pull up on the knob and just dial it down to the four pounds. And then when you pull the feed button, it'll uh, have the right... Here at Minic, we care about your safety. So whatever your safety regulations are on the job site or by the state, uh, whatever regulations are, please wear your safety gear. Okay, now that our air is connected, uh, we can stand her back up and uh, we can position the drill where we want to drill. And before we drill, we have to uh, take the safety pin out. And that keeps the drill in the upward position. So we want to take that off. Okay, now that we're ready to drill, uh, what we want to do is apply the feed valve, allow the drill still to kind of touch the concrete, then we want to uh, pull the drill with our left hand, uh, the drill valve, and then uh, drill to the desired depth. And then keeping the drill valve on, we want to release the feed valve and that'll keep the drill spinning and uh, allow the drill to feed back out of the hole. And then once you're clear of the hole, you can release the drill. So here, here's what that looks like. Okay, now that we're done drilling, uh, we want to go ahead and put the safety pin back in uh, before we turn the air off. Then uh, we want to turn the air off back at your main compressor so there's no more air coming to the machine. And then we have to bleed the air pressure that's still in the drill. And so what we want to do is actually just turn, pull the drill valve. until your gauge reads zero. And then we actually wanna, um, we wanna get a rag and put it over the, the red valve here and you can release any extra pressure pushing that red safety valve. And a, uh, after we uh, release the pressure here, we wanna go ahead and lay the machine down and remove the safety lanyards. And then it's safe to release that and put the cap back on so we're free of dust and debris. We want to cover a few pinch points that we have. Um, they are clearly marked, but uh, we want to point those out. Remember this, as this travels up and down, we have some pinch points. And then as this open and closes, um, but check your manual, that'll give you the complete uh, pinch points area. As far as maintenance goes, uh, you want to make sure that the drill mount bolt is tight. Uh, we also have the front clamp here on the drill. Uh, you want to make sure that's snug, but don't over tighten it. It could actually uh, keep the drill from sliding. We also want to make sure that the deflector is down. We don't get rain going up in there. And uh, if you call in for parts, uh, your serial number is located right here on the drill. Uh, that's a great reference to help get the right parts.